Princess Charlotte's Nursery revealed, young royal will enjoy pottery and poetry classes at outstanding rated £9,000 a year Wilcox School from next month. Princess Charlotte will begin attending an exclusive London nursery from next month, her parents the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge revealed today. William and Kate, who is pregnant with her third child, will send the two-year-old to Wilcox Nursery School, located close to their Kensington Palace home. Charlotte will enjoy pottery and poetry classes at the sought-after nursery, which is rated outstanding by Ofsted and located next to the Royal Albert Hall. The princess will first be invited with her parents for a short stay and play. Kate and William will then be asked to leave to see if Charlotte is happy to be left alone. The school recommends in its guidance to parents that pupils bring a toy or photo from home, and take a picture of their teacher back to their house. It says, as your child builds a rapport with the teachers, we will ask you to stay in the vicinity for the first few sessions so that you can return if needed. Fees are £9,150 a year for morning sessions and £5,400 for afternoons. Palace sources said Charlotte would attend the school full-time but declined to elaborate on whether that was for either morning or afternoon sessions, or both. A school spokesman said, we are delighted that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have chosen the Wilcox Nursery School for Princess Charlotte. We look forward to welcoming Charlotte to our nursery in January. The nursery broke up for Christmas last week, but the spring term will start in just over a fortnight on Thursday, January 4. It holds what it calls morning school for 32 youngsters, aged almost 3 to 5 years old, who are in class 5 days a week for 3 hours. On its website, Wilcox says pupils experience a fun and structured morning with lots of free play where children embark on the first stages of learning to read, write and to understand simple numbers with the minimum of pressure. Charlotte may be enrolled in the afternoon school, which is less structured than the morning session but provides a similar wide range of activities including art and music. It is tailored for younger children, aged 2 to 3 years old and is run three days a week. Its headmistress and owner is Lavinia Taylor, who has been teaching at the school for many years and moved into her current role in September 2009. The nursery was founded in 1964 by Diana Wilcox and has been at its current location in the Church Hall of Holy Trinity Church in Kensington since 1984. The most recent Ofsted inspection declared it outstanding saying the staff had meticulous planning skills in ensuring children's individual learning needs are met. The report also stated how children have outings to the Science and Natural History Museums, and have visitors such as the police, fire service and a vicar. They also use programmable toys and show excellent mathematical skills as they count accurately in excess of 20 as well as using a broad range of puzzles, construction sets and games with staff, which develop their problem-solving skills. Children are said to make good use of the outside play area, running around with ribbons which flow in the wind and show skillful use of wheeled toys and use a variety of equipment which develops their physical control. A profile of the school by Society magazine Tatler, which lists it among its best London nurseries, said, We know describing a good school in Kensington as a hidden gem is an oxymoron, but the Wilcox nursery is just that. It has a loyal following a mix of old English families and chic foreigners, but flies under the radar. It's all quite understated. Yes, you should register at birth and yes, there are waiting lists, but fabhead Lovinia Taylor says, we try our best not to disappoint. A mother describes it as gentle, which is what you want for young ones. They're just by the Royal Albert Hall, so expect John's to the museums and the park, as well as captivating talks on things like Shackleton archaeology or the environment to keep things lively and fun. Kindness is evident everywhere, plus the nursery is a cooperative, so you know staff are in it for the long haul. The royal couple have also released a new family photograph of themselves and their children, which will feature on their Christmas card. The photograph shows the Duke with his son, Prince George, standing immediately in front of him, while Charlotte stands with her mother. The image was taken at Kensington Palace earlier this year by Chris Jackson royal photographer for Getty Images.